Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stupid Gaming. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to up your system influence. Um, now, usually these form part of the challenges for your season journey. So if I find where it is here, um, there we go. So protect a magna, reach maximum influence in a whole subsector, all solar systems within a subsector. So if I go to the main screen here so each subsector is all of these here so we've got intraglav for instance we've got aureus clamoris rotwang malcorum and torg now what you can do is if you click on triangle on playstation you can actually see the influence of each one that you are looking at and the idea is you have to get to 800 influence in each of these subsectors or systems so you can see I've got 2,900 in Torg. Um, the reason for that is when you use Intel missions, nine times out of 10, it will put it in the Torg system for some strange reason, or at least it will for me. Um, so I think it's actually Torg system, but. So yeah, it's, it's actually put me really high for Torg. I've actually also got um, Clamora system at over 800 as well. And recently, I'm pretty certain I just got the Malcorum. Yeah, so Malcorum system is as well. So I still need to get the Rotwang and the Aureus system. So how can I up the influence in those two sectors? If I go to random missions, and I will sort it by system influence, just so we've got a better idea. So... Um, so far, I'm not seeing either of the two I need. Clamoris is there. Nope, there's none for the actual sectors that I need. So what do I do? Because if you've completed the story quest, you're not going to have anything in those areas. As I say, your Intel missions will put you in, for me, talk system. It might be a different system for you, but it's usually the same system. Now, when the game first came out, it was, it was based in whatever system you were currently residing. So if I went into the Aurea system, any Intel mission would actually be set in that particular system. It doesn't seem to work like that anymore. So what do we do? Well, let's exit out of that. And we go into a standard star system. So if we have a look at this, so I'm in Tyrus Kappa, it's actually in the Aureus system, which we can see by the top right hand corner. And we have a standard mission. It's only level 28 compared to my level 95. So you wouldn't normally think to use them. However, all missions will give you a standard system influence of 10 points. Doesn't seem like much, obviously. But then when we start adding our cards, I can get 29 system influence out of each of these missions. So if I need to get 800 in total, it's not going to take me too long. I'll have to do quite a few, obviously. But to be perfectly honest, in each of these subsectors, if I uh, zoom out to the subsector overview where you've got all of the planets of that subsector, you can see I've actually got a fair few missions that I can do. So we're looking at, I've already done two here, so we're looking at 60 just in that one sector. Plus another 40, well, plus another 60, sorry. So 90 plus another 60, I can't even count. So just by going through here, we're probably halfway to our goal. So let's go back into this subsector and we'll go for a mission so you've at least got something to watch. but. System influence actually do the even low level missions because you're always guaranteed a minimum of 10 system influence for each mission you do in that sector, regardless of its level. Okay, so let's see how we get on. I'm expecting this to be a whitewash, but there we go. Right. The enemies of the Imperium are infinite, and such a vast threat can only be fought with ingenuity. 
the benefit of doing these ones, of course, don't need to go up there, is that they're extremely easy. So you can actually go through these in a very, very, very fast run. Of course, you don't really need to pick anything up. Um, you can do if you want, but it's not essential. There we go, so that's the first uh, target down. Turn the map off, it does uh, get in the way sometimes. Let's make it even easier, shall we? Nearly there. And done. So if we have a look at the uh, mission completion screen, we've got 29 system influence and 29 glory. And two fate as well, um, which is quite nice. So there we go. Quite a, an easy way of getting um, system influence for you. The added benefit of doing those missions is, even though they are stupidly low level, they do actually give you items of your level. Um, so, if you just want to do a quick run, you can you can actually get some pretty decent equipment, uh, even if it's just for materials to break down for construction and crafting, uh, or credits, of course, for selling. It's a, it's a good way of actually doing that. So. It's a pretty neat trick, and to be honest, I think a lot of people try and do everything through Void Crusades or Intel missions, but it's definitely worth looking at the the standard normal map missions if you're trying to do both glory and system influence, to be fair, um, and get some extra free credits, because selling or breaking down this stuff really does get you quite a tidy sum of... Uh, all sorts of things so there we go tarot cards and all sorts of things so definitely a good way of sorting that out well guys thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please make sure you do click the like button subscribe if you are new to the channel or if you haven't done so already share the video with all of your friends and please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video and anything else you'd like to see in the future if you want to support me more please follow the link to the patreon page it's displayed on screen and i look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon you'll take care bye for now